us today. Thank you very much. So tell me a little bit about uh, you know yourself, how you got started, and uh, you know where you're at today. Wow. Started in kindergarten, and I ended up gray. Yeah. And, I, and there, that's the short version. Oh, perfect. But, uh, no, I started drawing in elementary school and okay. junior high, high school, into college, uh, during work, after work, uh -huh. and I was very passionate about. Uh, was it? Was it? Uh, was there something in particular? Did you see a comic strip, a cartoon on television that got you interested in drawing? Early on, my favorite uh, early inspirations, I'd have to say, were the Warner Brothers and uh, well, that, them and Tom and Jerry. The real, uh, the stuff that they don't show anymore because Tom it's probably too violent. But right. it's not. It's, it's great stuff. Tom and Jerry, the the cat and mouse. Yeah, right? yeah, that Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd. You know all the traditional all Warner the Brothers ones. characters. Yeah. So, so you started to just try to sketch them and or a comic strip. Oh, I, ju I just like the humor. You just of, like of the those. humor. Yeah. Then, you know, growing up, my dad's a real big comics fan. Uh, still reads every comic in the uh, in the paper, and I, that obviously influenced me because I read comics my whole life too, and just uh, got my first book of penis cartoons when I was about eight, I think. Yes. And it was uh, great stuff, really, really funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still have that book, Do you? falling apart, but I still have it. Who was the favorite character? Well, if I think then Snoopy, but yeah, Snoopy. you know, but they're all so good they're and they're not as easy to draw as you may think you know i did i did <laughs> notice that some of the earlier peanuts change as they as they progress they do, and, they and, do. Uh, was that something uh, that you had noticed you know as uh, you know charles schultz kind of changed his i think it's just over the years the characters morph into what yeah. into the modern characters you know they evolve into whatever they did look different right. in the early 50s compared to later on no, were there uh, certain individuals like Charles Schultz that you admired? You know, there were certain uh, Chuck Jones. Well, exactly. Jones. I had the actually pleasure of meeting both of them. And it was you? very cool uh, experience meeting both. Was it uh, uh, when you were a little older? When you were in uh, uh, well, high definitely school? older. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> back in it was the mid '80s, I met Charles Schultz, and he was uh, kind enough. I was a little embarrassed. I had gone with some friends, a fellow cartoonists, to go meet him, and. He took a book off his shelf that he had and signed it to my, at that time, unborn oldest son, really? which was real fun. I think I'm going to keep it, though. Yeah, I I <laughs> yeah, you can still hear the creak if you open it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, the spine's I, not I, broken. I, 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 the spine is not broken <laughs> on that. And then at, at, with uh, Chuck Jones, I happened to, uh, uh, Linda Jones Enterprises actually publishes these prints. Okay. So oh, uh, that is his daughter started a, a company with that distributes and markets his work mm -hmm. and other artists and work. other artists as work so, so tell me so you you started when you're in elementary drawing you went to high school did you take art classes I and did I loved art classes quite a bit and I majored in college in advertising arts oh, did you uh, okay and kept drawing on uh, kept drawing even when I left college for that break and never quite went back <laughs> maybe <laughs> someday I'm gonna get an on an uh, honorary, honorary degree here. stay in school because <laughs> I don't need the competition <laughs> <laughs> Just keep staying That's there. Right. But, you know, th there was a story I had, had read that you were in a uh, department store, a... Um, a pharmacy. A pharmacy, pharmacy. right. Not you, getting drugs either. That's right, that's right. I don't remember. It is lost to history while I, why I was in that pharmacy. I don't remember why, but I saw a row of greeting cards by uh, Sandra Boynton. Uh, and just terrific, fun cards, and which really inspired me to start my own greeting card company. And, and it said, I read that you, the next year or a couple years after you started your own green card company, was yeah. that right? Yeah, okay. that, was, that was the beginning of the end, <laughs> or the beginning of the beginning. Beginning of the beginning. And then you you, you just focused on greeting cards, or how, what did so it go, how did it happen? From for that? the next couple of years, it was just greeting cards, uh, getting okay. distribution and selling yeah. them across the country and going to okay. trade shows. And, so it helped. So it helped uh, being in the printing business. You knew what kind of paper and yeah, I printed exactly. I printed my own at first, and then when the orders got too much, we had to go to a larger commercial printer because I worked for my father. He had a small printing company. Okay. Oh. So what? Uh, when did the change come when you started making uh, cartoon strips and such? Uh, that came in '84. '84. Well, and you started making uh, strips. And yeah. was, it, was it Rubes? Or, yes. Okay, so right from right here. So, so right, 
right from uh, 84, you're able to uh, start developing rubes, and you syndicated a few years after that? Uh, it was not as it was not as smooth a transition as that. I got a, a break in the uh, Antelope Valley Press uh, in Palmdale, where I was living, and they asked me to do a daily cartoon for them. Okay. Yeah. And it was a, a four panels? It was, it was a single panel like a I single still panel. run now. Okay. The, the animals or? Everything. Anything everything? Goes. In fact, I'm going to choke some of these here tonight. Oh, that's nice. Well, you'll probably edit that part out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and from there, you started getting into uh, your books and such? The first book came in 81, which is actually why I was in Palmdale to do a book signing. Oh, okay. Uh, and it was a book of musical cartoons. I don't read any music at all, but that's, just, uh, that's it just the worked. That's the I'll, we'll skip all those details, but <laughs> but it worked out really well. Right, right. And, and so then, uh, so then in late '80s, you released another book. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, late '80s. There were a couple more books, and I got picked up by a, uh, a syndicate, and they started distributing my work. And then so far and wide. Far and wide. And so now you, you are in major newspapers all across. Major, the, middle, and minor. Uh, I love way. them all. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as they're newspapers, I'm happy. So when someone sees you and they see your art, they say, oh, my favorite one was uh, such and such. What was that one with that cat, Garfield? That's uh, what they say. Uh, do, <laughs> <laughs> I love Snoopy, you know. <laughs> so they, do, they, uh, so do they have you sign their uh, comic strips, like a newspaper? Yeah, yeah, Sometimes, whatever they bring, I'll sign. So now... What would you tell someone who wants to, uh, you know, break into a business, comic strips and drawing? Stay, stay, go do other things. Do something please else. Please do something else. <laughs> Listen to your parents and. Yes, <laughs> yes. Stay in, don't become a cartoonist. It's a, it's a horrible life. It's a horrible life. <laughs> become a doctor or a lawyer mm -hmm. or something. You know, yeah. <laughs> Work in TV or radio. Work in TV or radio yeah. or something like that. That's great. That's great. So, so what? Uh, any plans for the next few years, or is it just steady as we go? More the same. I do a lot of traveling and events such as this one, and right. uh, see where it takes me. Let's I don't know. It it's on a kind of an open-ended adventure, you know. Right. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. no plan B. That was no the plan B. That was <laughs> <laughs> it had to work and nothing else. <laughs> what? What? Let me ask you. What, what was your, uh, your your favorite strip, or is there a favorite? Uh, I like favorite I, character. I have a lot of they. The publisher asked me to yeah, pick right. out <laughs> 240 of my favorite out of over 9,000. Wow. And so I spent a few real fun but tiring days at the kitchen table. Stuff spread, spread out, out everywhere. everywhere. Right. Uh, so it's in there, but I like to think my favorite hasn't even been drawn yet. Right. So who knows, I can go another 25 years or so. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's always elusive. You're always uh, seeking that one. That's the goal. That's, you can't quite, just quite reach it. it. I heard someone say that very thing. Was, who was that? I, I'm trying to remember what actor it was. And he said, "No, that role hasn't yet come." I'm trying to remember. And I was like, it, "That's exactly what they seem to say. It's, it's always right. elusive." Well, you don't want to. I think if you've met your goal, then then what do you have left? Then you're done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, want, I don't want to be done. <laughs> I want to keep. Or you can know, set the next one and the next one and the next one. Right. Right. Uh, so, what, what's your uh, your family think of uh, what you do? Do they? Gee, Dad, we wish you were. Something else, or no? I don't think it means. I don't think it matters to them at all. So, because that they grew up with it. So right. Whatever. That's, this is what that does. does. <laughs> you know, doesn't doesn't bother you. Well, I couldn't even an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, this is what Dad does. And any of the kids following in the footsteps? I'm sure they all draw. Well, and... all of them can, and and the uh, the oldest one is much more business oriented. So maybe I'll hire him to be my business manager. But uh, the youngest writes and produces directs his own little movies and he's quite good and he's he acts and is a very talented musician so he's and all this stuff is on youtube so oh, feel free to go oh, on my website and check it out if you like but he's in a rock band and they're getting yeah. gigs and uh it's pretty funny oh, wow. i call him my little retirement plan your little retirement plan he's uh, <laughs> But, uh, so does the uh, the wife open the newspaper for you and set out your comic strips for coffee? I'm up way to, before yeah. everybody else. Are you? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you open? You have to open your own comic strip. I open my own. Oh, or, God, they they got the caption right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever see? Oh, you know, you open one up and you you look at it and you start getting ideas, fresh ideas like, 
Oh, maybe I should have done it like this. Oh, that's, that's a terrible thing. Yeah, do you just like leave it alone? Leave it alone. It's too late. It's too Hopefully late. Hopefully you've edited it. it enough in your head prior to before you even submitted it. Does, does it ever spawn a new idea? Like you see something. Sometimes. Like, really? Sometimes it does. And it's just something totally fresh. It's or like the guy that's so smart he writes his own reference books. Oh, there you go. No, let me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can do it like this. I can do it like that. Oh, Lee. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, for, my, yeah, my pleasure. For, get, take some time with us. Sure.